In this video, we'll go over the Leaderboard Manager, configuring Leaderboard data objects, and using the Leaderboard List Control. Let's get started. Heathen's Leaderboard Manager is a script component available in the Steamworks Player Services and Steamworks Complete Packages. Just like the Foundation Manager, we want to make sure this doesn't get destroyed and is available from the start of our game. So for simplicity, we'll just add it to our existing Game Managers object. Just like the stats and achievements, we need to create a data object to represent our leaderboard in the game. Leaderboards can be created at runtime if needed, but it's generally best to create them in your portal ahead of time. For this example, and so we have some data to show in our leaderboard list, we're going to use the Feet Traveled Leaderboard from Valve's Space War example. To create our leaderboard, we're going to right click and select Create. Steamworks, Player Services, Leaderboard Data. Next, we name it Feet Traveled and configure its settings. The first setting in the data object is a tick box for Create If Missing. This can be used to create the leaderboard at runtime, so if we hadn't already created it in our portal, we could do so here. Next, we have the sort method. So, is a high score a lesser or greater value in the leaderboard? Then we have the display type for the data stored. Here we have a numeric, meaning any general use number. And then we also have time, either as seconds or milliseconds. Next we have the leaderboard name. If we're using a board that has already been created, then we need to make sure we get the name right. In our case, we'll be using feet traveled, and it only has one L. Finally, we have the max number of detail entries the board will handle. This is used when coring the board for entries. Each entry can have extra data stored against it in the form of an int array. You might use this to know what type of card the player was using in a racing game, or what hero in a MOBA, and so forth. So if you're going to have three extra bits of data, then we'd enter three here. And on the query, the tool will try to fetch up to three detail entries. With our leaderboard data object filled out, we can drag and drop it to the leaderboard manager, and that's it. We're done. When the game starts up, the manager will register the board against Steam, fetching its ID or creating if needed. The manager will also query for the local user's record in the board, if any. And we can use the leaderboard data object to set the local player's score on the board, much like you'd set a stat value. As with stats and achievements, we'll link a verbose script demonstrating leaderboard data use in the description below. Now that we have our game connected to the leaderboard and an interface to get data from it, we need to set up a way to display that data to the player in-game. For that, we'll use leaderboard list behavior. This is a UI behavior that takes a reference to a leaderboard data object and displays the results of queries against it. I'm going to create a canvas and give it a scroll rec, where I'll add the leaderboard list behavior, and I'll give the list behavior our leaderboard data object. As with stats and achievement entries, we can edit the basic configuration of the leaderboard in the Behaviors Inspector. That is, the Creative Missing object and the name of the board. We can indicate whether or not we want the result list to focus on the player entry, if available. The last two fields deal with how we want to display entries in the list. Collection is simply the route where we want records to be spawned, so that's our scroll rex content game object. The entry prototype that's a template or prefab that we want spawned for each record. You can create your own if you like, but for the sake of simplicity, I'll use the basic leaderboard record prototype that comes with the package. I'll also set up a vertical layout and context size behavior, and connect a button up that will query for the top 10 records when clicked. For our button's click event, we're going to use the leaderboard list behavior as the click events reference object. And then we're going to select the query top entries option and enter 10 as the input parameter. This will cause it to query the top 10 entries in that leaderboard. Now let's adjust our layout a bit and expand our scroll view so we can see our results better. And now we can simulate in the editor and click our top 10 button to see if it populates a list of entries. 
These are the top 10 players in Valve's Space War Feet Traveled Leaderboard. We could have also searched for entries around the player, friend entries, and so forth. We'll link an example script to show a number of different quarries you can run, and also how you would set the player's score in the leaderboard. Look for a link to that in the description below. Next time we'll take a look at Steam Inventory, Items, and Item Generators.